Gemini, two mismatched turntables with this giant Gemini mixer. This mixer was ridiculously big for no reason. You know what I'm saying? And I remember I took my father's rack system and I created this whole setup. So I went back and I bought a, um, a, a, a Yamaha keyboard. It wasn't a synchronizer keyboard enough. It was just a regular poor man go up on the train station and play his play his song out type shit. And I had a I had the sampler and I would sample these songs and I would use the drum kit on the keyboard with two tape decks and I record the sample and I'll bang the drums out live, like do the whole song, bang the drums out. Then I would take that tape, flip it in the other tape deck, put what I just played, take what I just recorded, put it in one tape deck, take a brand new blank tape, put it in that tape deck, play what I just played out and add some, add whatever else to it and flip the sample. Take that tape, flip it again. By the time I did it, it was so distorted, but it had everything that I wanted in tracks. You know what I'm saying? It was the illest, it was the illest thing right there. And then, when I um, got a little bit more money. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 I had this music in my head and I had to use what I had to get this music out. But I never thought about like taking it to like another level. I just wanted it for me. Because I knew what I wanted to hear because I couldn't find it on the radio. Nobody wasn't doing it the way I wanted to hear it. So I had to do it myself. <laughs> 